Right, I'm at the mental, back at the mental, and it's just a matter of uh, how long it'll be till the car arrives. Right, and they've cut the grass here too. You can see, here we go, is the car. <laughs> Less than 10 seconds, they're on time. Camera record mental equals car. Anyway, um, still getting asked, the questions are still coming in. What's happening with the place? Um, as you'll know if you're a regular, I have been documenting this place now for over 20 years, but I'm still, the questions have started, it, it lied low a bit, but they've started up again now. What's happening with the place? Um, I'll put in the description a bit more detail, uh, but in a nutshell, it's all going to get demolished apart from the front buildings and the chapel, which you can't see from here, which is just behind the nurse's home in them trees there and I don't know the Allied Ward which is the other side towards the haunted cinder track <laughs> um, that's a, a subject to public funding whatever that means probably means it's gonna get knocked down but I like I said I'm not too sure what the hell's going on with the Allied Ward um, but yeah anyway in a nutshell after shout I don't I hope you can hear me it's very breezy but it's all going to get demolished to make way for housing, business units and what have you. Like I say, look in the description and you'll have a bit of a detailed, more detailed description, you know, of what's, what's happening. But like I say, it's all going to get demolished apart from the front buildings and the chapel and, I don't know, possibly the Allard Ward. But I'm not sure what's happening with that. So that's it. Um, and as always... If you've got any interest in these another car, if you've got uh, three cars, have you got if you've got any interest in the mental and is this car pulling up here? Who's this now? You, you're alright? It's alright, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyway. I don't know whether they've got an interest in the mental or anyway, what, what they're doing to be honest. Yeah, so anyway, if you've got any uh, interest, you know, if you've got an interest in the mental, as always, watch this space. Um, anything to report, any updates, it'll be on this channel. I don't know what this car's doing behind me, they've just pulled up and apologised for so. Right, I'm going, it's gosh, breezy. Right, I'll see it, I'm going. So like I say, have a look at the description down below and bit more detail of what's happening with the place and as always watch this space oh it's driven off now <laughs> oh they're turning around I don't know potential urban explorers I think uh, I'll just hang about a bit in case uh, something happens yeah so anyway that's the nurse's home uh, you've got the isolation ward which is falling to bits there got the silos Male, well, bit of uh, male eight. See, just a little bit of it there, which is the sick ward, and this car's coming behind me now. Front buildings, got the lid at the back there, got female 787B. <laughs> I don't know what this car's doing, it's making me a bit. Um, and female 787B and eight wards, and the Allard ward, like I said, I don't know what's happening with the Allard ward. Wow, this wind, getting a bit uh, breezy. I don't know what this car's doing, making me a bit. Uh, Wary. Anyway, I'm going. So yeah, watch this space. Not to shout, it's very breezy. Right, watch this space, all the the, the, the works at the front there, that's good. Yeah, but basically, in a nutshell, the whole lot's gonna get demolished, apart from the front buildings and the chapel and possibly something to do with the alley door. Right, I'm going. I'll see you next time. Okay, so this is the uh there's a female uh 7, 8, 7B and 8 wards in the Allard ward which I talked about earlier um, yeah I'll just uh, give you an update on the, the lads in the car um, they were doing a tour apparently they were telling me they've come from Manchester area and they, they're going around and they heard about the mental obviously and uh, they were wanted to go in the grounds and stuff but I just we had a good chat and I just said to them just gave my advice as I always do you know um, if you do go in the grounds you are gonna likely to get caught 
Um, they, like I said earlier in my early videos, they, they did have sensors there, so they knew when everyone was in the ground grounds. Um, and there is security there. If you get caught, you're more likely going to get caught. But uh, the, the, the police may get involved. Uh, but like I, I say, they're going to camp up because they've been uh, doing like a road trip and stuff like that. Um, so I said, if you do, you know, go in in the grounds. If you're going around at night, just be very careful because it is extremely dangerous in there. Um, so that's just my advice. And I just said to them, I left them to it, and they said, oh, thanks very much. So off I went. So <laughs> that's what they were doing. But yeah, that's all. You know, my advice to them is just ideally, there's not much to see really. The only decent bit to see are the front buildings. So yeah, anyway, I'm going and I'll see you in the next one.